Y'all already know the vibes, y'all. What we're going to be talking about today, y'all, is a major problem, you know what I'm saying, in the bike like community, you know what I'm saying? And that is bike theft, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, y'all, in this situation, pretty much what happened is um, the guy ended up, I guess, while he was asleep. He said he went to sleep late this day, too, y'all. But he ended up going to sleep, like, at 12 in the morning, uh, 1 in, one in the morning, I think. And um, he ended up pretty much having his bike probably stolen by three in the morning from what he told me. So um, at the end of it all, y'all, having his bike stolen or whatever, um, he ended up, I guess, looking for his bike on what? Marketplace. Okay. Yeah, Marketplace, um, social media. And guess what, y'all? He ended up finding his bike for sale on somebody else's social media page. You know what I'm saying? Which was crazy. Four hours away? Yeah, the bike was four hours away, bro. The bike was for sale on somebody else's social media account, allegedly. F four hours away, y'all. So... I don't know if it was like a little ring they had going on, like just riding around and just picking bikes up right quick and then just throwing them online for sale. But that, that, that that's that's dangerous to do though, bro. Yeah. Like you're selling somebody bike. And the thing is, y'all, the major point this guy said was that this bike had the same seat, gripper seat, that he put on the bike with his name on the side of the seat, on the side of the, the, the bike seat. Yeah. Which is crazy. Like you got to be a brave criminal. That's like a, a seat. It, it, that's a seat or a seat cover. Seat cover. So the other oh, it was a custom seat cover. My fault, y'all. Custom seat cover. With his name on it. So with his name on it. The person who stole the bike allegedly um, never thought about changing the seat. The seat like cover. this, this baby blue, pretty seat cover. Like he just kept it the same. With the dude's name on it. With the man's name on it. <laughs> Put the man bike up for sale with his name, with the guy's name on it, bro. The only thing he did, however, change allegedly from the owner that he told me was the grips. The grips. But kept the seat on. That's backwards. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I want y'all to check out this video real quick. You know what I'm saying? This is a quick live of me and the alleged owner who actually owned this bike and says he have the title for this bike that he allegedly showed me. But yeah, man, y'all just check this out and I'm going to tap back in and Give my output, but other than that, here go the video. Yo, what's good, bro? What's up, man? So, what, what what kind of bike you got, bro? Uh, twenty three CRF one fifty. You got a RB CRF one fifty? Yeah. Okay. What, what, what? How I look? You got a blue seat, a custom blue seat on that. It even got my name on it too, or my my Instagram name on it. Hold on, so what, you, you got the bike? Like, what happened to the bike? You, you got it right now? Hell no, that was stolen. Oh, the bike was stolen? Hell yeah. So how, like, when did it get stolen? How long ago did it, like, go missing from you? Like, uh, about, about two weeks ago. Oh, it got stolen two weeks ago? So, yo, yo, 2023 CR 150 got stolen from yeah. you? Yeah. They broke into my shed and everything, bro. They even took, uh, my, uh... My uh, Vortec ECU for my 452. You said they took they took your ECU? Yeah, uh, yeah, they took the ECU and my bike. Hold up, so look, look, like, did you ever find the 150? You ever seen the 150 again? I, I seen it posted, but I seen it, I seen it bro, uh, this dude posted uh, Flex D bike. I don't know if you know him. Flex? Flex the, the star, something like that. 
Flex the Bite. He also got a page called Flex the Bite where he posts all them bites. And I saw my bite posted on there. And, 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 and that's your bite for that, sure? That's my bite for sure. He, he, I, my, my custom seat was still on there. That's how crazy it was. But they didn't even change the seat. They just post, Hold up, so, post it like that. So that, that, that's your same seat that's on that, that 150. Hell and you, yeah. You say he posted it on his page? Hell yeah. Do you think he know the bike stolen though? If that's I, like, I don't even know if he know, but the people here associate know that it was stolen though. Whoever gave him that bike for him to post it on that. So, but I don't, I don't know if bro know it was stolen though, because you know, because like, if he know it was stolen, I don't think he would post it like that. They would probably switch it up, you know, change it up and like take it, take it apart and shit, you know what I mean? Right. So, did you try to like ask, bro? Like, did you try to tell him? Yeah. Like, I did. I did text it, bro. He ain't even replied to me. He ain't even answer or nothing. So he never talked. Like you, you never like got to talk to him or, or nothing. Like, hell bro. no. But you know for sure that's your bike. Bro, like you know that's your. Sure, that's my bike, bro. That seat, bro. I seen my name on that seat too. So that one fifty got your exact name on that seat. Hell yeah. And, and uh, the brake lever, I cut it off. You know, you know, I, I made it look different, so I know it's my bike. You know, even I just like you never expect your bike to get stolen. You know what I mean? I I did a I did a little, you know, make my bike a little different. I cut the brake lever a little bit. You know what I mean? Right. You can so see what, it too in the picture. You got pi you got pictures of it? Yeah. Let me see. Let me see how it look. How how you post it? Oh, I you don't know. I don't know how to post it on here. Oh, you just post it in the comment. Damn. Okay. I yeah, I don't think. I think you you might need a second phone to show it. Oh, I, I probably got. Hold on, I got my iPad right here. That's, that's crazy. I ain't gonna cut. Hey, so what? Yeah. Where you from? Where you from? North Carolina. So the person who they, they say got your like who, who you who have your bike like that's where they from too. Nah, they was in uh, Hampton, VA when the bike was posted. <clears throat> so the person not even from from where you from? Yeah. So they they just just been driving around looking for bikes, I guess. No. Yeah. It, what? That's far from where you stay. Huh? You say VA, right? That's far from where you stay. Like four hours. Like from four hours where I'm at. They're like four hours. Hold on. I'm gonna show you a picture right now. Let me pull that. Up. Oh, show that's your bike, though. Like you for sure, for sure, that's your bike. For bro. sure, for sure, that's my bike. Like no cat, bro. <laughs> like I wouldn't even, uh, I wouldn't even reach out to, bro. You know what I mean? And plus, bro, I appreciate it. You know, like for you doing this, too, bro. Bro, that's crazy. So you ain't like? Did he even look at the message? Hell no, he ain't even. I, I texted him on Facebook Market. Text him on his Instagram, and and on his page, bro advocated talking about he don't do stolen bikes and shit, you know what I mean. So I thought bro was gonna be like cool, and shit, but he ain't even answer me, man. Like did, when you when you when you came at him though, did you come at him like trying to talk to him, or you came at him like yeah, that's my bike, bro. Yeah. Like, how you came? I came to him like yo, bro, that's my bike. I, I even told him I got a band for him to go pick that shit up, bro. I was like, that's my bike. I got a band for you. I go pick that shit up tonight. But he didn't even answer, he didn't even look at the message. Hold on, so you told him, you told him you got a thousand to go pick. Yeah, I go pick my back up. But you told him that was your bike. Yeah, I told him that was my bike, and then I uh, and then he he sold that. Shit. Yeah, I ain't go cap, bro. bro. See, you supposed to like kind of like you supposed to play like you was a body or something. You feel me? You supposed to play bro, like you supposed to play, go bike out the game. I, I did do that. I had my boy hit him up and. Shit, but I guess when he see their location from Charlotte or North Carolina, bro, bro got scared, and shit, you know, and you know he ain't, he ain't trying to give that information out. Hey, yeah, I ain't gonna count. Hey, see, you should have you should have played it a little more smoother. Like you should have you should have went about it a little different, bro. Cause you you by telling somebody that's your bike, they not gonna they not gonna try to meet up with you yeah. at all. Like they not gonna try to come close to you. Yeah, but okay. now. Like if you would have came out like, oh yeah, bro, I didn't want to buy the bike, bro. How much you want for the bike? You you could have like, I, it would have played out. I could have, man, but 
I guess bro was on that sh- too, man. I guess Steve, you know, Steve, they be on that sh- too, you know. Yeah. They know, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I know how they be moving there. They ain't, but, but trust me, I was I was trying to do everything, but I, I had hell of a hit them up, bro. Damn. Let me see if I can. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you, gotta show, you, gotta, you gotta let me see a picture. You gotta let me see how it look. Uh, I'm gonna show you right now. Yeah, CRF one, a 2023 CRF 150. Um, I'm gonna show you uh the one that he posted. This is what he got posted right here. And I'm okay. gonna show you my where my picture, where I took the picture at. Hold up. That's great. And this is my picture. This the one I took. You see? I got the old grip, and uh, yeah, you see my seat right there? It even got my name on it. I don't know if you can see it. It said Bankroll Chigger on it. Oh, yeah, Bankroll Chiggers. So, yeah. the bike that he had in that picture, that had your exact it name on it. Had, look, it had the exact same seat on it, bro. That's my name on it too, bro. If you really, I can't, I can't really zoom in that. If you really zoom in it, you can see it. And plus, like I said, I cut the, uh, I cut the uh, brake handles. I don't know if y'all can see that, but you see that brake handle? It's a little cut on it. And you can see the cut on that brake handles as well. Oh man, I don't gotta, hold up. Let me pull up this page real quick. That's crazy, ain't a lot. Yeah, that is. It's crazy, bro. And, and you know, for people who's like bike life, bro, like we, you know, that's part of our, our life, you know, we that's what we do on our fun days, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, bro, that that's me up, bro, the whole the whole week. Like, and you what you have, you got the title for it? I got the title and everything for it. I just the the guy who I bought it from just mailed it to me. So, how did how- how they stole the bike though? What they did to it? Like how they how they how they how they got in there? Bro, I'm finna show you everything, bro. I'm finna show you the 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 shed and stuff in a little bit. Hold on, let me show this. Let me get this. Show that that's where where that where I cut that handlebars at. That's crazy, though. That's cra- crazy. Right there, you can see that right there. He said it got the same name on the seat. And uh, he said it got the same. And you can see that cut right there. You don't have that little ball at the end of the tip of the, uh, you know, the brake level. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the only thing they did was just change the hand grips. That's the only thing they did. <laughs> hey, hey, you said they just changed the hand grips? That's it. That's the only thing they did. They ain't did nothing else after that. But, yeah, how did he come- yeah here go the title for it. Yeah, how you came, how you came across the... Okay, title. Here you go the title for it. You said 23. Let me turn it like this. 23, Hana. So how you uh, came across it? Like, how you how you knew who took it? But I, I mean, was, I knew, but how you knew where it was at? I just been on, ever since that shit was stolen, bro, I been on Facebook Market just looking for that bitch, bro. And then I came across that Oh, hell. First thing I did, I hit up my boy. Look, this what this what they did. See that? That's my share right there. The well, motherfucker. They, they can't do that? I don't know. They use, they probably use a lot of fucking, uh, a crowbar or something. But yeah, they, my whole door is broke. Like, this can't even lock no You can't even turn the lock no more. Can't even lock the door. I got to change that shit out. You ain't here trying see. to go in there? You were home when they did it? Bro, I was, I was home, but like I say, you know, like, they probably did it. That, Cause I stayed up late too that night. It was like I stayed up to like twelve, so they probably did that shit around like three in the morning. Damn, you ain't had no alarm on your door, no nothing. But I, I was working on my bike that day too, so you know, like I was the the thing is, I was like I was planning to wake up early to go work on it again tomorrow after that. You know what I mean? That's why I did lock it and everything, but like. God damn, it's just the door. They 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 forced it in, you know what I mean? They forced it in. So lucky my four wheeler was outside, but it was locked. That's they couldn't even get to that. Bro, you ain't have 
got no cameras, no nothing. Bro, I, that's where I but man, after after that shit, bro, everything's set up now, bro. And, like, I got that I got that security on lock now. So 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 do you do you know where the bike at now? Like you I don't even crazy. know, but he sold it now. I can't even get nobody to hit him up. So it's that's gone. Crazy. It's gone, bro. I'm trying, but I don't know, bro. But that's bro. So what you gonna do? What you gonna try to get another another bike? Or? Yeah, that's the plan, man. Get another bike. You know we bike life, bro. That's the only. But I I gotta stay with a bike. That's the only thing I think about, man. Get on my bike every day, every week. Damn, that's crazy, dog. I don't even know though. Like, I don't know. So you, you like, you knew for sure that was your bike, though. Like, you knew for, for sure, sure like, bro. Like, for sure, bro. That's my bike, bro. So what stopped you? I ain't gonna lie. Like, yeah, what stopped you from pulling up and going to get your bike? Like, if that was your bike, but, and you know that was your bike. What stopped you from I ain't got the address. I don't know where to live at. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where he live at, bro. <laughs> Like, bro, you know, you know, it's my sh you know, I, I go do my sh you know, I go grab that. Like, bro, if that's, bro, like, what? You, you gonna sh my sh you know what I'm saying? Like, you gonna sh my sh That's what, I, but I ain't got no edge. I've been trying to, bro. I've been trying to get this, sh bro. Like, I just can't get an Addy, bro, or uh, nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, because that's, like, because I, you feel me? You telling me what's going on, so I'm just like, if you knew for sure, like that was your bike, like if you a hundred percent knew for sure that was yeah. your bike, and you knew, yeah. like you wasn't in the wrong, you know it's your bike. Yeah. Well, you put angle, like you supposed to pretty much like it's your bike, like you supposed to, you supposed to go all in. It's yours. Yeah, I know that's what I'm saying, but bro, like, like bro, I ain't trying to send the Addy, bro. He's been dodging me. And shit. I'm just I'm saying, saying. If you knew that was your bike. You feel me? If you knew that was your bike, a hundred percent, and. Whether you know they want to play crazy or not, and you know that was your bike, I feel like you supposed to like kind of like you feel me? That's your bike. Yeah, but like, what can you do if you don't know where, bro? Like, where is that? You know what I mean? You gotta do your homework. That's all I'm trying to do, man. Like, you're hopefully to do people homework. Hey, hopefully the on here, bro. Hey, hit me, like, show me know where is that? Cause hit I, me, I like, ain't like me personally. I feel like you just messed up. Cause number one, you 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 out the gate came at. The person who had the bike, and you were saying, no, like, I, I, okay, that's I my bike. I didn't, I didn't came at him at, at first, you know what I'm saying? I came at him after it was sold, like, hey, yo, bro, that was my bike, you know? Like, so you waited till the bike was sold to come at not, the not person? Really, not, not really, so, like, it was still posted, like, it was still posted. I came, came at him, like, when I didn't have no other option, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, I don't know, man, like, I, I felt so, like, hold on, dude, hold on. I, did, I felt like I did kind of too. You knew that the person had the bike all the way up until your bike was sold, or you found out he had the bike when it was after it was sold. I knew the person had the bike before it was sold too. Bro. Oh, Lord, Lord, you played? I don't know, bro. I, I, uh, I don't know, bro. You, you knew he had the bike. You knew the person had the bike. That's true, bro. bro. I've been like I told you. As soon as I sold that, saw that. Post it, bro. Bro, I you hit my boy, bro. I'm like, yo, hit him, hit him up, get this Addy, whatever. Bro, bro, I ain't trying to give it up. Like he was, man. Like the only thing I needed was the Addy. You know what I'm saying? Trying to meet up, like at least get something to meet up. But I ain't had nothing, you know. Bro, like, I, bro, I, you, I, I felt like I like I felt like bro know what you know he was doing. That what I'm saying. You supposed to knew what you were doing too. You supposed to kind of like. Counter, I know. Counter attack that. Yeah, cause you knew he had the bike. Waited until the bike was sold. So it's like if you knew that was your bike, hundred percent. You know that's yeah. the first thing. Like the address, it's not hard to get an address. But, bro, bro, know what he was doing, bro. He ain't, he ain't trying to give it up. See, that's the thing. Like, and in that situation, like, like I'm saying, like, I'm going off of you saying that was hundred percent your bike. But if that was hundred percent your bike, it wouldn't have to be nobody have to give you no address. You supposed to. Get the address for yourself. Like you posted, it. it's not hard to get the address, bro. I don't know. I don't know how how to get it, bro. I ain't know. It's not hard. I'm telling you that it's not hard. Oh, how you get it then, bro? Like you know, 
who got your bike, you see where the bike at, you see the person face, it's not hard to get somebody address, bro. Where where you search that? <laughs> he think it's hard to get an address. I like, like I'm not gonna like like if that was your bike and you know it was your bike, like I keep saying, you know that was your bike. You was too relaxed, bro. Like you you bro, trust me, bro, I was not relaxed, bro. Like I was really on but I had hell of a up, bro. But this man was just like he knew, like I felt like he knew something was up. He 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 didn't want to give his addy or nothing. He 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 gave an addy to like food lion and shit. You know what I mean? Like it's not it's like it's like I look up the addy like like what the f is this? You know I'm not finna drive all the way over there and then not see bro. You know what I mean? Like, you think you're not finna drive all the way over there to see him? Like I'm not finna. Draw all over there, and like the address he gave me is not, you know. I looked up the addy, bro. Like the addy wasn't, it wasn't it. It was like a food line. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, bro. It is, bro. That is fucking crazy. Yeah, you, you, cause I, I know in, in, in like the heat of the moment, you probably like, you probably like, damn, you know, that's my biking because you went off of emotions, but you supposed to like, you supposed to play that a little more smoother if you knew that was your bike 100%. Well, that's what I did. You supposed bro. to play that way more smooth and just like kind of. Bro, that's all I'm I was, I felt like I was close to getting that, bro. And then I'm so, bro, I was pissed. I felt like I was, I felt like I was going to get my back, bro. You got to, hey, you got to be there with the bike, like with you starting the bike up? Yeah, no, I got to be I'm a, my boy, I got a video of my boy cutting up on that. Bro. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That is crazy, but that's something I work hard for. You know, I bust my ass for that. Shit, bro. I, I ain't even do this. Shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't be, I ain't for nobody and nothing, bro. Like, all I do is just ride a bike, bro. That's all I do, bro. Damn, that's crazy. Somebody say, somebody say that's his bike. Debo said, what, what bike? He said, yeah. Somebody say green bean. That somebody say, yeah. That they feel that's your bike. Somebody say the only way to know. Somebody say the only way to know if the bands if the bands match. Somebody say it's his bike. I've seen his bike before. It's not capping. Nobody okay deserve to get their bike stolen. He said, yeah. So you got people saying, yeah. You say, see if you get on live. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy, though. I ain't gonna lie. You should, you should tag him just to, just to, just to see what he say. You should tag him on here. See if he'll come on here and talk and talk to you. How you do? You okay? Okay, they tagging it right now. Okay, hold up. We're going to see that boy. Get on here. Yeah, yeah, jump on here real quick. Damn, that's crazy, dog. Hell, yeah. Like, like, bro, I work too hard for this shit, You know what I'm saying? Like, like, bro, we work too hard for this shit, bro. I need yeah. my shit back, bro. Like, I don't be going around stealing people's shit, you know? So I don't know why I'm doing that shit. Like, get a job, you know what I'm saying? Or do something, hustle, you know what I'm saying? And go buy your own shit. Damn, that's crazy. We're going we gonna to see if he's going to get on here real quick. He said, how did he say, how did it get stole? He said somebody broke in the shed and took the bike. I showed up. Somebody said he drove 14 hours right after he took your bike. No way. Okay, he say, he say, how did he drive fourteen hours and to steal your bike? Oh, uh, they say he don't move like that. But damn, the people he around probably move like that. Like, I don't know. Like, like I said, bro, <laughs> bro got that posted on his page, so I feel like he the one. You know what I'm saying? 
Like I'm con but you got like bro, you got my bike posted on your page, bro. Like con like tell me something, you know? If you ain't if it's not you, put somebody else under the bus. You know what I'm saying? That's cra crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Who said this? I got the bike. Oh yeah, he just said I got the bike. Come get it. I don't know who that is. They said they got the bike. Who that? Was? What I said? That was um. Oh yeah, I see it. He said some. Somebody close had to set you up. Bro, probably, bro. That's why, bro. I don't even, really, bro. I T can't even. What's good, T? Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't think he, bro, not getting on. He said, stop capping. You ain't got, he said, somebody else say I got the bike. <laughs> somebody else say I got a bike. Come get it. Damn. Oh my God. Send me, a, send me the added or the picture of the bike. I'll come get it. Damn, that's crazy, dog. Look at me, you should be extra person. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I'll show it. Ooh, he said he'll, he'll, he'll come on live and show it right now. Ooh. That what, I'm, um, that what somebody just said. I'm going to add him right now. He said he'll come on live and show it. Is it a fake page? I don't know if it's fake page. He said he'll come on right now and show, and show the bike. Somebody talking about the bike is in Hawaii. T said, yeah, court tomorrow, T. Most definitely, T. Most definitely, T. Tomorrow's the day. Keep your head up for show, for show. God damn it, big day tomorrow. He said, court tomorrow. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, T. Hell yeah. Oh, he said, bro, join the live. Show the little bike. Okay. Yeah, he said, show the bike. Huh. Who's the bike. that? Man, he said, get the out of here, bro. <laughs> Hey, this is, this is, man, you know that shit ain't going lie. Yeah, that nah. clean, bro, but we right now, we worrying about my bike, bro. Come by, trying to get my bike back, one. bro. Come buy this one. Hey, hell no, bro. I'm trying this to get better my bike back, bro. I'm trying bike, to see come buy it. Bro, whoever got that 1500 for y'all, bro. Too bad, matter of fact, whoever got that shit, bro. Whoever got that shit, Addy or some shit. But the Addy ain't gonna cost you two bands, though. It's probably like 500. Man, the bike world's small, bro. You're gonna find it sooner or later. Hell he, no, he said he got two, two, 2000 for whoever um, found the bike. Oh. He said he got 2000 Whoever found the bike, he got 2000 for him right now. Yeah, uh, yeah. Two, two, two bands, bro. Oh, he said he got it right now. Bro, say he got it. He said, Zerham 1500. You can get the bike. Hell no, bro. We gotta meet up, bro. He said he'll bring it to you. I bring it to me. I I bring it to me. I had a cash for you. He say he say sell it first right now, and he'll bring you the bike. Man, that, man, I ain't falling for that, bro. I ain't no rookie. Yeah, he say he say he say sell the money right now, and he'll bring you your bike right now. I ain't gonna lie. What you call it? Never got on the live though. I don't think he he gonna get on dog. Uh, who you say flex? But you you already know what he gonna say. Oh, you know that's my bike. He ain't gonna say that. He what can he say? You know what I'm saying? He dodging this. Shit. Like I said, bro, he dodging that. Shit. He he said he dead serious. He said he dead serious. He got you. He said he dead serious. If you sell him, he gonna give you. He gonna bring the bike to you right now. He said right to you, right to the front door. You told him, bro. You think they trying? Ain't time for this. You, you, you show me a picture of that, shit, and then you pull up on me. I even got the cash, bro. Damn, I don't think I don't think um Flex ain't joining, dog. Flex ain't joining the live. <laughs> bro, he's not gonna join. He said he said add, add him in the live and tell him to show the bike. Add him. 
I think it's about flex at um, at, at flex to the to the lab. I don't think but the buy already sold, so he can't even he can't, can't even show it. Yeah, that is true. It, it's you said it's already gone, so yeah. Yeah, man, I, I'm uh, I'm willing to pay, bro, if he can give me the you know a name to who he sold it to or whatever. Uh, somebody says police. <laughs> He said, can't do that. That's police. <laughs> he said, he said, sell the 1500 first, and he got you. Hell no, bro. I don't know who, bro, is. But, bro, he stop. Right now, he got you. Huh? He said, send him $4,000 right now, he got you. Bro, he ain't got the bike. I have another bike. Brand new 150 in it for that. <laughs> Four fifty, probably. Sport bike. Yeah, I could probably get a a two fifty for that much. But uh, I need my bike back. I need my baby back, bro. You have insurance? You ain't have insurance? Hell no. Damn. Skinny buff man, what's good? You say what? Oh. Was it from the dealership? Nah, I bought it from somebody. Damn, dog. He said you you get that V touch too. Oh, he said he trying to say if you send him the fifteen hundred, you go you can get the bike back, and you and it's gonna come with the V touch. <laughs> Bro, trolling for real right now. Yeah, he said you can get the bike back, and you are gonna automatically have a V touch when you get it back. Bro, I said if you have the VIN number, put insurance on it, then claim it's stolen. How that? What's that? He said, if you have the VIN number, put insurance on it, then claim it stolen. Damn. How that shit work? Then it'll cover it. Yeah, I think if uh if you have insurance on the bike, they they would um uh send you another bike or they'll cover it. They'll pay pay you off. Or if you have insurance on the house that covers stuff, they should cover it too. Oh yeah, or if you got insurance turns on your house and it covered theft that'll recover that that I mean that'll cover it also but you gotta file police report somebody say that bike out right now with one wheel up while you politicking somebody say you a walking lick bro oh my god yeah walking sleep lick somebody said that uh, Amazon worker took your bike so somebody mean. said it's gone Somebody say you ain't getting that bite back. Yeah. Like I said, bro. Too bad, bro. Whoever know where that bike is at. And can get me. If I, but too bad leading me to get my bike back. You know what I'm saying? I ain't just going to give you too bad. Say, hey, that's the big old bike. I need everything. Addy, where is that? But I'll give you too bad. Somebody say maybe a homeless man um took your bike. Hold up. He said twerk for he said twerk right now and I got you. Oh he said twerk and I got, got you. You get the bike back if you twerk. Cholin, bro. Cholin. <laughs> Somebody said put two bands down on a new bike. Yeah. That's what I'm finna do. That's what I'm about to do. Bro, I'm about to go get a new bike. And plus, my birthday coming up, too, bro. I was finna ride out on my bike, bro. That's crazy, bro. So you don't think before you get a new bike, you should get an alarm system? Bro. And some Everything's on lock now, bro. I swear to God, next fuck in my yard, can't get, bro. That's the last. Look, once you take a loss, bro, you learn from that. You know what I'm saying? You learn. You're like, bro. Like, my has put air tags on your shit. He says something. Somebody else hanging out good on your bike. Uh, yeah, they did. Like I said, bro, I, I hope they enjoy that, bro. Because if I catch them, man, bro. If you catch them, what you going to do to them when you catch them? 
But I'm a, but I'm gonna try to pop out at, at almost every ride I can. But I see it. When let me get my bike, bro. Let me get my new bike. Oh shit. So, somebody say, you get a new bike. Send me the Addy. I take it off your hands. Hey, hey yeah, come take it off my hand. That'll be the last time. That'll be the last, your last. Somebody said, how you gonna catch them on on the 150? So they try to say, how you gonna even catch them? Off the bike. I'm, I'm gonna be on the 250 watch 2024 250. Y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see. Yeah, man. So I'm pretty sure y'all just pretty much, you know, seeing what happened. You know what I'm saying? But with, with this live, this crazy live. But y'all definitely leave a comment. And um, yeah, this is just a, a crazy situation because he, from what this guy explained to me, that he tried to actually hit up this guy who allegedly had his bike on his social media page and he kind of told the guy like yeah that's my bike and this is my bike and i want to come get my bike me personally y'all he kind of messed up just doing that yeah he should have just played more of a calm a calm type of of i don't know like a, a calm he vibe bro. His way in there. he should have finessed his way y'all you know what i'm saying if it's not in you to step to this guy and get your bike back you know, not everybody, you know, is is is, is, is tough person. You know, you should have just called the cops, bro. You know what I'm saying? If it's, if it's not in you to just step to the guy and, and get your bike back forcefully. You know, you should have just called the cops, bro. And just went ahead and, you know, filed the police report and, you know, took them to the guy house and just get your bike back that way, bro. But yeah, what I have a question. Like, for people who are looking into buying bikes, or looking into buying an expensive bike or whatever, do you feel like the first step would be to make sure that you have a secure place to keep your bikes? Like what? Like what would Most you definitely. say? What would you say to all people who are excited to get a bike and maybe they, you know, they raise up the money or whatever, and they just want to go ahead and buy a bike and they're not even worried about like where they're gonna keep the bike. Where they're gonna keep it whether they have alarms or whether they have a guard dog or or all of the above or, or you know some type of man if you're gonna do that y'all might well donate y'all money to me just give me y'all money for free if you're just gonna buy a bike and not have nowhere to keep it at because that's definitely what you're gonna be doing is donating money and you know people look to steal bikes so it's like you're raising up all this hard hard earned work money to buy a bike and then the bike could get stolen bro because you're not securing the bike like too good but this guy he had his bike in the shed like an actually a actually good shed, shed with a door and everything with a nice door thing, if, if it could be somebody close to you it could be a neighbor it could be it could have been a close uh yeah you know, a close so job yeah some people have multiple things to secure their bike like like what are some things that you would say to new uh people who are looking to get bikes like what would you recommend like because there's a number of things that you could do to make sure that that your bike don't don't get stolen but what would you say are some of those things that they could do to prevent that from happening other than other because i've seen some people put their bikes in the, Man, look, in the number bedroom one, with them like number I've one seen, i see some people literally sleep next to their bike what y'all could do y'all number one personally adt alarm cameras it's a number of things. Dogs, guard dogs. Uh, put an alarm lock on your bike. A kill switch. Kill switch. Tracker. Tracker devices. Um, it's a numerous of things. Insurance. You could put insurance on the bike. You could. Insurance. It, well, we, a, we talk about more things that prevent people from still not insurance. Insurance is not going to prevent nobody well, from that, stealing your bike. That, I mean, if you get it stolen. You're talking about what's making it hard for people to steal your bike. True. But so that would be more like a ADT alarm system, y'all. ADT alarm, cameras, guard dog, alarm lock that goes through your your dirt bike tires or wheels. It's a numerous of things, y'all. He could have locked the shed too. He did lock it. They pried the door open. Oh my god. He locked it. They bent. They bent the door. They bent the door open, y'all. To get to get to the bike.
So, and there's people that'll go through the most to try to get a bike. People who really risk their life to we've steal seen, bikes. We've seen it people, don't be worth, worth we've it. We've seen people um, saw holes through a wall. Yeah, they try right. to do my shop like that. They try to saw, saw, you know, it's not a secret. They try to saw a hole through the wall to come inside my shop and steal my bikes. Through the wall. From through the another, wall. From another part of the building. Through the wall, y'all. But they, they were going, they were like really going to go through hell, y'all, to like get, 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 get mine. Like playing with me, it's going to be really hell. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like me personally, you know, I can tell this guy is a good kid and stuff, but that, that couldn't have been me. And I'm, I'm, and I'm seeing that's my bike and I know that's my bike. And I don't find out like where you at and nothing like that. That's just me personally though. I wouldn't have had no understanding about that. Like with bro not answering back and stuff like that, it wouldn't I would never played it out like that. You, it would never been like that. Do you feel like there's people that make a living off of stealing bikes and reselling them? And yeah. Definitely. I know that for a fact. I know that for a fact. And did he say if the person ever responded to him or anything like that? The person never responded. He just didn't kill. He just uh, kept brought bike up for sale and didn't kill, have a can of the world. And he actually got the bike sold too. So now somebody else got the bike. Right. Riding the bike, catwalking, learning how to 12 o'clock. Because that's a perfect bike to learn how to wheelie on too. Mm -hmm. So I definitely know they, you know, probably put street tires on it now. Took the seat cover off. <laughs> probably don't even got the same seat cover. And it's, it's, it's more than a thousand of CRL 150s out there. And are there people who buy bikes even though they don't have titles? Yeah, like, people that buy stolen bikes, yeah. So there's people that be like, oh, you know, I'm getting a good deal on this bike, but they don't got no title, but everything yep. runs good. Yep. Do you yep. feel like Do you feel like somebody like that would have a problem selling a bike with no title? Nah, there's a lot of people that buy bikes without titles because they just want a bike, a cheap bike. If you want to be honest, that's why his bike got sold. Somebody wanted it. his bike was hot, but they still bought it. So, what are the consequences though of buying a bike with no title? Like, what happens if they get caught on on the bike, or something happens to it? Caught on a bike by who? Police or the person who bike it is? The police or whoever. Like, what are the what's the worst case scenario that could happen if somebody gets caught up one way or another with a a bike that's stolen? Or that don't got no title. Let's say by that. the police or the person who bikes. For anybody, like let's say it got let's say it got told or let's say it got confiscated. I know people who didn't lost their life because they was on a bike that was stolen. You know what I'm saying? A stolen bike that they didn't have no business on. And the person caught up to them in traffic on that bike and they lost their life on that what bike. Is? So it could go both ways. Now the police, you're gonna get hit with a grand theft auto charge but i'm saying it could be like let's say somebody buys a bike off marketplace or something with no title and they get pulled over or their bikes get confiscated or something like well i don't think nobody gonna pull over with a hot bike just to be honest they're gonna flee in the loop they're right, not gonna pull so, over sometimes you don't know it's a hot bike because sometimes people sell it with this fake old bill of sale you know oh what I'm yeah saying? yeah that's true so it's like it has there's been instances where people get pulled over on a bike and they can't prove that they're the person who actually stole it but because the bike don't got because they don't have a title to it like what happens in that case because remember oh, the bike gets took and are they able to recover that bike no not if it's stolen the original owner going to recover it so whoever so, named that bike is in. okay so let's say in in this person's case you know the, the the dude that we're talking about if for example somebody else who bought the bike who probably bought it with a bill of sale or no title let's say they that bike gets taken to a tow yard how would they know to contact the original owner that's what i'm saying Who, whoever name is on the title like if bro who the bike got stolen from right because mm -hmm. he, he he got a title he showed me the title right if that title is not in his name and it's in the original owner's name, they're going to contact the original owner whose name the bike is in. So when the tow yard or whatever gets that bike, they or the police or whoever gets it, they run the VIN and then that's yeah. what that's what tells them to contact such and such person. Yeah. So it could be like a year, two years, three years from now and he might get a call 
saying, hey, look, we found And the bike, bike might be blowed up by then. <laughs> I know, it's not funny, but I know somebody that happened to. What? You know, he had got his KX125 stolen back in the day. Mm -hmm. And I was, you know, I was a, I was younger when he got the bike stolen. So I was probably like 13 years old when he got this KX125 stolen, right? Cause one day, you know, I was just like, what, what happened to your 125? And he was like a little older dude, probably like 16, 17. All right. Well, I think bro, I always been older than me. He probably like 20. Like he always been old, always had facial hair. You feel me? I was like 13. So I was like, I said, damn, what happened to your 125? He like, oh, somebody stole it. So bum, the bike got stolen, right? So after the bike got stolen, he got him a banshee. So he had a banshee, you feel me? So when I had got like, I was 13 when it got stolen, right? When I, when I ended up being like 17, bro, Told y'all had just called him and was like, "Yeah, we found your bike. We found your bike back." So that was four years later. So when he got the bike back, he told me like, "Yeah, I got my bike back, or whatever." So I went over to his house and looked at the bike and seen the bike. Bro, the tires were bald head. Like they rode the hell out of that bike. Like, right. Like that, that's all they did was like do burnouts. Then his motor would blow. So it's like you might not get that bike back as, as you you know, as you. And you that you grew up, you grew up around bike life and stuff. Like, how many instances would you say that involved some type of drama with a stolen bike? How many instances? Yeah. You can't see you. Y'all better look at my page. <laughs> how many instances? My like, page is fifty percent of that. <laughs> now I'm talking about it again. This make it seventy percent. Yeah. It's getting worse by the day. I remember that one time where some a customer brought you a bike. And, and it was stolen and somebody else called you with the title saying that that was their bike. Which one was that? I had so many instances. Um, that was the one where dude brought you the bike <laughs> and then somebody else contacted you and said, hey, that's my bike. I just seen you post it. Yeah. I'm coming with the title. Remember? I think it was Oh, Spanish yeah, man. Yep. I remember that. That was the yellow four wheel. <laughs> yeah. The, the yellow YFZ 450, y'all. So, like, you never know. Bro, he said he was coming, and I never even gave him my address. See, now, he was serious about his bike. Yeah, he See, showed bro, up. He showed, I, I never gave bro my address. He just, like, he was like, yeah, I'm coming. And I was like, who this is? Talking about this day bike. And so. And he didn't involve any police, did he? He didn't involve the police, nothing. Like, he, I didn't even give the man my address. Next thing I know, I was working on the Chevy. He just walked up. He was like, yeah, man, that's my bike. I say, damn. See, that's how, you, that's how you're supposed to be when you're serious about getting your bike back. Yeah. You're supposed to find the address. So this let me know he was bro right now, like with this 150, he wasn't too serious about getting the bike. Now he didn't sat here while his bike before his bike. Well maybe was, maybe he didn't it's have, crazy, maybe he didn't have the resources to go get his bike because he said it was four hours away. But see, I don't know, because like you said, if it's my bike, I'm gonna I'm going over there. You say four hours away? That's what he Them said. Them people who came and got this that, that YFZ, that yellow YFZ four fifty, they was two hours away. Yeah. They found the address. So what kind of resources are you talking about? So you just donated a bike? Well, because he said, how, how old is this kid? Like, he said he was like... He look old enough. He look 22 years old. You don't see all that facial hair he got? He got more facial hair than me. He could be my uncle. How you looking? So at some point, when he seen that bike, like, he must have felt at some point, like, you know what? This is just a, like, the L. You see how he was acting on live. He couldn't stop talking, like, about what he gonna do when he find that bike. But, I mean, but why some, didn't you do point, that when your bike was still there? That's what I'm saying. At some point, you got to realize, like, man, I'm just going to have to take this L. You know, I'm not going to He go said ahead. he still got a four-wheeler left. He got a YFZ 450. He said, oh, that's the funny thing now. He said they walked past the 450. They walked past the YFZ 450. The 450 was right there. And they just went for the, the 150. They didn't even want the 450. They walked past it. They and probably, just broke the door open and took the 150 and left. They probably rode off on it. It's probably 12 o'clock leaving. <laughs> they probably hung out still in that bike. So that's crazy. What do you feel? Do you feel like it's almost inevitable that like somebody is gonna try to figure out if you're a, a easy lick or not if you're in bike life? What do you mean? Do I do I think like, people, pick they pick they battles or something? But like, okay, you know how. Obviously, there's people who target people with bikes, right? Because there's a there's there's a big market for bikes, and people are buying bikes whether they have titles or not. Right. So, like, 
what do you feel like makes people look like an easy lick when it comes to a fight? Like, like, cause obviously they gotta like either track you down or figure out like, oh, this person looks like an easy lick. Like, you know what? Let's just find out where he keep his bike at and stuff like that. Like, do you feel like there's certain things that people target or certain bikes that people go after more than others? Well, first off, people going they always gonna go for the newest bike, you know what I'm saying? 2020 a uh, better. The newer bike, nobody ain't gonna go for no 1990 CR80. And that's the thing, I might need to get me an older bike or something, the 19, cause they don't go after the old bikes now. They go after <laughs> the, the newest bikes, you feel me? So it's like, oh, a Banshee, you know, a Banshee, they don't care what year that is, they'll yeah. take any year of a Banshee, cause they don't make them. But I feel like it depends on like the person, like if you're a weak link out there, if you don't too much know a lot of main people out there in the bike life community and stuff like that like if you just like a new rider they may target you if you're too friendly, too, if you're too too. friendly you know what i'm saying they just tell like oh yeah you're too friendly he ain't gonna do nothing we're gonna take his bike even this guy bro he was even willing to like pay to get his bike back he, he was willing to pay like two thousand dollars to try to receive his, his 150 back but it's to the point to where you could buy a new bike with that just a brand new bike like bro you might you might meet up with somebody get your bike back for two thousand dollars and you might ride that bike the first day and blow your motor. Yeah. Or they might just take your $2,000 on top of that. Yeah, you might sell somebody and never see nothing. So now you lost a bike in $2,000. <laughs> it can get worse and worse, bro. Yeah. It can get worse and worse. Like, but yeah, me personally, I, yeah, it, it depends, though. Like, it depends, like, who they target. Now, in order for somebody to run the van and contact the original owner and stuff like that do you have to file a police report saying that it's so it was stolen for for what? yeah like okay like let's say him right the dude that got his bike stolen right if for example somehow the bike ends up in a tow yard can the tow yard keep the bike or do they have to like Okay, when they run the VIN, is it going to show, like, stolen to where they have to contact the original owner? Or is it something to where, like, okay, we see that it's registered to somebody, but if they don't come and get it, it's ours. Like, can they just, do they have to report it stolen to the police in order to put, like, a flag on the VIN or something like oh, that? Oh, you talking about, so the Toyota can know it's stolen? Yeah, right, like. Like, is there a database or something that when they run the VIN, it'd be like, oh, stolen? Yeah, if you make a police report, so if it'll he, flag it that it's stolen. So if he doesn't make a police report, what happens? Like, can the tow yard just be like, oh, look, the original owner never came to get it, so it's ours It's now. a possibility. So would you suggest... It's like, a possibility, yeah. If somebody ever gets their bike stolen, would you suggest that they at least do a police report? Yeah, uh, you could do a report on, on through the phone or something like that. Just make a report just so it could be on record. So if your bike get found, yeah. it'll be brought up and stolen in the system. Is there a way like, okay, like let's say he would have called the police, for example. If he says like, oh, hey, look, some, some dude, uh, I see some dude post my bike four <laughs> hours away. Is there a way that he would have been able to call police to recover the bike without dude getting charged? Or will they automatically charge the person? Well, who has knowing how the police is, they'll still try to charge him. They don't care what you say. They want to get paid too, so you know what I'm saying? You 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 tell them like, oh yeah, please don't charge. Them. I just want my bike back. They gonna oh, put your hands behind your back. They still gonna make their money off you now. So I don't put it past them. But I'm saying, cause wouldn't they have to prove that he was the one that stole the bike? Like, isn't is there a way around it? Like, to where oh, they can hit you with possession of stolen property. Yeah, it's always a. A different type of groove they can go through now. Cause, cause he could have easily been like, "Well, somebody sold me this bike." You know what I'm saying? Right. Like they can't if they don't catch you actually stealing the bike. Like I'm trying Pos to see, possessing the stolen property. I'm trying to see if it's a way to where everybody's happy. You know what I mean? Like boom. Well, sometimes everybody can't be happy. You know how I many people in jail for possessing the stolen item that they say they didn't steal. And they say they didn't steal. <laughs> yeah. Car. But that's just brow. You know, I told you brow is it's just corrupt. So I'm just going off of what I've so seen. What about you, since you're a mechanic and everything? What What do you think the right thing would be to do if you received a bike that's that either 
is stolen or, or or that doesn't have a VIN or that you're not able to like like what if two or three people be like oh that's my bike no that's my bike who got the paperwork right what if there's no paperwork go let the tow yard deal with it <laughs> I'm not gonna deal with it right the tow yard let the tow yard deal with it I'm not gonna play that game I ain't even play like that Right. Cause before somebody been trying to come at me over a bike, cause they gonna put they you know they gonna put themselves at danger like trying to come at me. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Now, I hate to have to get on that type of level because over a bike. You know what I'm saying? So before I even let it get to that, I let them just deal with the tow yard. <laughs> That's how I do that. Do you have any suggestions for him um, before he gets his ne next bike? Cause I think he said he's gonna get another bike, right? Yeah, pretty much. What would your suggestion be? Suggestions be? Yeah. My suggestions would be, bro. Call ADT. That's the first suggestion. Well, you heard what he said. He said he, oh, he said he got cameras and all. Now he, he told. He but said, a camera, a camera's not going to do nothing but record. But record, right? Um, and if you're not there when the camera goes off like you're just gonna see the people who took your bike yeah it. you're just gonna watch them taking your stuff you're gonna watch unless them. you know who it is and you could say um but even still you will have to prove in court you got to go through too, too much see i'd rather just secure it and make it to where they can't even get it you feel me that camera just gonna record so a adt what happens they trigger like the police and stuff to come and yeah stuff. adt you know put a nice little guard dog back there Oh, yeah. Have a nice alarm lock going through your tire or your dirt bike. So if they try to move it, it's going eh, to go to going off. Eh, eh. Then on top of that, ADT going to go to going off. And the dog going to be going off. It's going to be too much going off. You're going to wake up. Yeah. And the dog will be like, if he was sleeping, like he said he was sleeping. He said he was sleeping, right? Yeah. He said he was on the property. He said he was on the property sleeping. So if he would have had a dog. Took his bike while he was in his pajama sleeping in bed. You feel like the dog would have woke. the dog Because the dog wakes you up. Yeah. With any little thing, you know, that dog wakes you that up. That dog would have woke him up. Yeah. It would have woke him up. <laughs> would you suggest that he get a firearm or something to protect his property? Well, he was talking like he already had one. Oh, my God. He was talking about, you know, he hoped he catch somebody in the yard again. What he, he'll walk out on him. So I'm it's assuming little, that he got it's one. It's a little too late for that, though, because they already took it. Uh, we <laughs> talk about the past. Now, yeah, we, we talking in the <laughs> past. <laughs> What about a kill switch? Um, how does that? How would that prevent um, something like that from happening? Like, if he had a kill switch, what would he be able to do? Oh, a tracking device too. Right. That, that that'd be better. He could have found out where his bike was at, where the guy was taking pictures at in the yard, and tracked it down and got it like that. If it would have got that far, because I'm pretty sure he would have tried tracking it that same day. He would tracked it while far in the back of the truck still. <laughs> I don't know. How would you? How would you? feel like what would it make you feel if you if you see one of your stolen bikes or something like that on marketplace like what what i'm what, gonna get to it it ain't no way to feel <laughs> what emotions do you think went through him when he seen him i don't know what emotion went through him but i know emotions gonna go through me what's that it, it ain't no t it's not, not no time to play <laughs> it's time to get back to it to my baby <laughs> and nothing ain't gonna stop me to get to it What would you have messaged the, the guy? What would I have messaged him? Mm -hmm. Hey, sir, how you doing? Um, I'm interested in buying the 150 that you got up for sale. Um, how much? <laughs> what's the best offer you could take for it? Cash in hand today. <laughs> That's what I would have messaged him. Yeah. That's Fake name and everything. My name Johnny. <laughs> Fake name and everything. Personally, he just came off a little too hostile. So he let the guy know that, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to respond to him. This is his bike. He's saying his bike stolen. No, nah, I would have came off a whole other person. Oh, yeah, bro. Hey. What are the chances that he's going to recover his bike now? What you mean? Like from a 0% to 100%? Mm -hmm. What's the chances that he's going to recover or he's not going to recover? No, what are the chances that, it, that he's going to recover the bike now? What are the chances that he's going to recover the bike? Mm -hmm. Negative 50. He put himself at negative 50 a little bit. What were his chances of recovering the bike when he first seen it on Marketplace? 100. 110%. <laughs> so you feel like 
he hesitated too much to make a move. Yeah, he hesitated. What you thinking about? Like, why are you thinking so hard, bro? You'll bite right there. Right. It's just on the screen. You just got to find a way to get to it. The bite is literally right there, bro. You still had your bite. Yeah. So, at that point, it was recoverable, still. He felt this mention on Grand Theft Auto. All you had to do was get to it. Do you feel like it was a missed opportunity? He, he, he ain't know how to find the address and... Do you feel like it was a missed opportunity to go and get your shit? It was, because his bike definitely probably 100% changed up. Got a, like, probably got a graphic kit on and everything now. Graphic kit, street ties, <laughs> FMF pipe. Mm -mm. He played. Is there anything that you want to say to close up the message? The lesson for today? Yeah, man, less for the day, man. Y'all always, you know what I'm saying, keep your bite secure and never be too hostile, you know what I'm saying, when you see your bike right in front of you for sale. Never say, oh, you stole my bike. I, that's my bike. I, I want to get it back. Never say that. Because guess what it's going to do, smart guy, is make the guy block you and not respond. Act like a buyer. Then once he dropped that address, Oh, yeah, I'm on my way, man. I, I even got an extra $200 if you deliver it to me. And always keep your bike secure. You know? Before you get the bike, have some security. Yeah, before you get the bike. You know what I'm saying? But that's, that's pretty much it. You got any questions? Not really. But yeah, man, other than that, y'all leave a comment. Y'all let me know what y'all think on this situation. You know what I'm saying? Leave a comment. You know about this this story but <laughs> that's, that's that's really it that's pretty much it right yeah save the bike life community yeah man you know what i'm saying save the bike like community but other than that y'all y'all already know the vibe man get in and get cycles the v-touch south florida vibes but we're gonna go from now